Welcome to this day for this Saturday, July 9th. I'm Paul Ortiz filling in for Lisa Hart for today. But we are going to be bringing you a couple of segments that Lisa was able to record. And today we're going to be showing you the segment they had done with Robert Carroll. He is the Director of General Services for VMS. And we'll be, be talking about the very important village recycling program that is now going on. And that is with your new uh, vendor, and that is CRNR. And they have some new bins, some new procedures, and very important information that Mr. Carroll and Lisa will be talking about. And of course, Eileen Ordway is joining us, and she's with the Laguna Woods Village Library. And they always have some terrific things happening over there at the library. Juanita Skelman, also very active over there at the library. A lot of stuff that uh, you can not only get books, but you can also uh, rent out movies. And they have all kinds of different things you can do over there at the library located right across the street from Clubhouse One. Well, we don't have any meetings for today, so we're going to tell you about our sunrise and sunset, and that's going to be today. If you're up early this morning at 5.47 a.m., it, uh, it happened at that time. And then, of course, our sunset is going to be at 8.05 p.m. A wonderful picture there. It looks like a Newport Beach by Mark Weiss. A great time to get out there and enjoy uh, some beautiful uh, weather and some nice places to visit as well there in Newport Beach. Well, we also have some local weather we can tell you about, and that's going to be this Saturday. It's at eight at today. It's going to be about 81 degrees, 63 overnight. Tomorrow, 81 degrees and 63 as well. And then we'll have a little bit of a cooling off period here on Monday, and it's going to get into those 70s. And it looks like the remainder of that week is also going to be into the mid to high 70s with low temperatures in the 60s. So terrific weather. If you're traveling for this Saturday or this weekend, we have great temperatures in the local beaches. And as we get into the mountains, a little bit warmer for that mountain area of Tahoe, Big Bear, and Mammoth into the low 80s. Overnight temperatures touching that 50 degree range. And then, of course, our deserts in the triple digits. But a great time to get out there. It's going to be a beautiful weekend and a beautiful Saturday. So we hope you get out there and enjoy all the wonderful things that are happening in the local community. Well, we're going to be back with Mr. Robert Carroll and Lisa Hart right after this. And we'll be talking about trash. Don't go anywhere. I'm a physician and the chief medical officer for the country, so I travel a lot and I'm often in group and individual settings where hearing is really critical. Um, the only person that I trust is Anne. She has made my life immeasurably better. Let audiologist Anne Mundell Noel and Laura Alleman Hunt of Amazing Hearing make your life immeasurably better. Call Amazing Hearing right now to set up your appointment. Amazing Hearing in the Trader Joe's Marshall Shopping Center. Hey, beach walkers, grandkid chasers, stair climbers, dance lovers, weekend warriors, and yogis. Your life demands activity, and joint pain shouldn't hold you back. Get personalized joint care that's as unique as you, with high satisfaction rates to prove it. At Memorial Care, your joint replacement patient navigator will be by your side, helping you safely return to more. Like another beach, extra hug, and one more song. More from life is calling with Memorial Care. Well, welcome back. Well, we have Robert here who's going to go through all of these different choices that you can use for your organic recycling. So thank you for uh, joining me again, and I thank appreciate you. you bringing up all these samples. Now, really only one is from CRNR, and the rest are just from Amazon and some other areas in which you can purchase these, Correct. right? Okay. Correct, yes. All right, good. So let's, um, we'll start out with the first thing, which generally is free when you go to the grocery store. Sometimes they do charge. So mm -hmm. tell me why this is good to use. Well, this is just a good inex inexpensive option. If you, um, if you don't want to purchase one of these, or maybe uh, you have one of these that's full and you need another option to add some more organics into, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's good to keep a few of these on hand. And uh, you know, they are uh, biodegradable and uh, it's a good option. One thing we did talk about um, earlier before the show is that if things get too greasy, or oily or wet, this may fall apart. So right. what do you do in that case? 
Well, in that case, you know, we have these other uh, bags available here. These are uh, biodegradable bags. And, uh, you know, you can drop one of these into your paper bag because okay. these, these also, uh, if left too long in one of the containers, will start to, bio, uh, will start to decompose. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. But let's say we didn't want to get this one, but we want to do this. Is there something else that we can do to protect the insides? Like, would it be just taking it out more often or should wrap a newspaper in here? Or what do you suggest? Both. Yeah. Okay. You could take it out more frequently, wrap it in newspaper. And the thing that's nice about these bags is it has uh, handles on it. Yeah. So very convenient. That's why I brought this. You can, okay. uh, you can have your trash in one hand and your organics in the other and walk over to your trash enclosure. Perfect. I wanted to make sure that they knew they didn't have to buy this. So that's, that's a great Correct. option. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about these uh, fabulous little, uh, little bags here. They're biodegradable, as you mentioned. Correct. Yeah. These, uh, this, this uh, package here um, has 100 uh, 2.6 gallon um, compostable bags. Mm -hmm. uh, they're uh, about $20 uh, for the 100 uh, carton, so about 20 cents a piece. Okay. Um, you can get these on Amazon. You can get them on home at HomeDepot.com, Walmart, Target. Uh, okay. They're 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 sold uh, in quite a few places online. Yeah. These will start to decompose in a matter of about uh, 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 four or five days. Right. Um, and if you put a lot of liquid in it, even sooner, you know, okay. uh, two, three days if your organic waste is, has liquid in it. Right. Uh, so um, keep in mind when you, when you use these, it's great. It's a good idea to take your organics down to the trash enclosure uh, probably every three days. Okay. Otherwise, they'll start to leak. Okay. So keep that in mind with these. Now, one thing I wanted to say about these bags, okay, so I'm just going to take one out, and they're all connected, just like your doggy bags. But do not use your doggy bags, because the doggy bags, even though they may say they are biodegradable, often they are not. And um, these, like you said, break down. And what's interesting is it degrades to humus, CO2, and water, like you mentioned, within three days. And right. that's, that's pretty biodegradable. Right. So that's right. great. That's great for the environment. But again, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, you keep them in there, and it's going to start uh, falling apart in about three days. So Correct. that's great. But one thing I just wanted to mention is don't use your doggy bags. Okay, perfect. Now from CRNR, they give you this one, right? Correct. Yes, yeah, from CRNR, you can order this. You call CRNR's phone number, and uh, for seven dollars and fifty cents, they'll uh, they'll take your payment over over the phone, mm -hmm. and they'll actually deliver it to your door, which okay. is which is very convenient. Okay. And this this item here, it has a uh, uh, a vented top, and it's uh, a little less than two gallons. And uh, what's really nice is it has this uh, convenient uh, carrying handle. Mm -hmm. And I'd recommend for any option, I, I, I strongly recommend the carrying handle. Again, it's all about convenience. It's all about you know when you're t taking your trash down to the trash enclosure in one hand, being mm -hmm. able to have a firm grip on your organics right. with the other. Right. So this is a good option. Okay, and then you don't need the bag with this. However, if you don't want to clean out the pail every time, having a little bag inside here, which is your, this kind of bag again, is good too, right? Correct, okay. correct. And if you don't take your organics out every three or four days, you can double bag. Because uh, again, they will start to break down yeah. and uh, you want to make sure you you know, not having to do extra cleaning. Yeah. It's all about convenience. Right, and, and again, don't, don't use your doggy bags and don't use the plastic bags that come from the grocery store. However, Correct. you could take this and cut it and you could stick it in there too. So Correct. there's another idea. Yeah. All right, perfect. So what else do you have? You've got some others that you found on Amazon. Yes, uh, these three here were on Amazon, but again, uh, homedepot.com, Target, uh, um, uh, Walmart, they all have uh, various options. This one here is a 1.3 gallon uh, by a company called Carry Home. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the thing that's nice about uh, all of these that I've selected here is they, they're one piece construction. So if, if, they, if you ever do get a leak, and even this uh, stainless steel one here is, is one piece construction. Right. So if you ever get a leak, you can easily clean it out. You don't have a metal seam that uh, oh. it's gonna get uh, uh, dirty and so forth. Okay. So look for one, one seam construction. Again, the handles are great. Uh, this one here actually has a clip on the back I like that. Uh, which is very handy. So you can put that on your, uh, uh, your kitchen cabinet, your lower cabinet yeah. door. Yeah. That can hang on there. You can take the lid off and you can drag your organics into it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one here has a unique feature as well in terms of this little clip here. 
this has adhesive on it, and um, a lot of people are not going to want to do this, but if, if you want to, you can stick this onto your backsplash, mm -hmm. um, and uh, this slides onto the back, and uh, you can keep it off of your countertop a few inches right. so you can clean underneath. Gotcha. So that, that might be an option for some people who don't want it actually sitting on their countertop. Yeah. That's, it's a great idea that you can hang it off the cabinet. Just, you know, you have your sink, and then you've got your cabinet right below. Maybe that's right. a way you just kind of dump it in there. Exactly. Cool. That's All right. Great. What's the next one you have? This one here, this one is by Full Circle. This one also has a, uh, a clip on the back that you can hang it from a cabinet and, okay. and uh, pull your organics into it. Um, it's smaller. It's a little less than a gallon, and it's really flexible. And it, it's, it's convenient for if you want to put it in your freezer. If you don't want, if you don't like the idea of have so, having something on your countertop or elsewhere in your kitchen, mm -hmm. you can put your organics in here. They'll freeze, and you um, just take this, tie the top, take it down in your uh, trash enclosure, your organics cart, and just squeeze it and pop it right in. So again, it's all about convenience. Um, that's another option there from Full I, Circle. You know, where you think about freezing it, I would not think about freezing something like that. So right. um, that's, a, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, not, right, not a great option for everybody, but if yeah. you have room in your freezer, yeah. and I know a lot of people don't, okay. this is a really good option. Okay, excellent. And then your last choice there. Yeah, this, uh, this last item here, this uh, bin is from Epica. It's stainless steel, and like I mentioned before, uh, there's no seams in it, all one-piece yeah. construction. So okay. if you do have to clean it, it's uh, very easy to clean. Mm -hmm. It has some carbon filters uh, built in. There's actually That's two good. carbon filters to help eliminate odors. Okay. Um, again, really convenient uh, uh, carrying handle. And this one's actually kind of nice. So if, uh, you know, if I'm going to have something on my kitchen countertop, yeah. it'd probably be this one. Yeah. You know, this is a nice, solid stainless steel piece. Um, the filters are replaceable as well. You can wash them. Okay. Uh, you can buy them online as well. The filters should last you about uh, six months, uh, okay. and then uh, you change them out. Um, yeah, so this is another great option. And again, all these, these three right here anyway, and the bags mm -hmm. available on Amazon or any of those other online sources. Perfect. Well, I think this gives us a lot of great options. And as we mentioned, uh, this is the option in which CR&R uh, provides you and you will want to contact them uh, directly to order that and you can call them at 949-625-6735 to order this specific one for $7.50 right. right I think is what you said mm -hmm. and they will deliver that to you but otherwise all of these other things are really great options and, and of course your free one too so that's great well thank that's you right. so much you're welcome thanks for having awesome me. stuff thank you again and uh, I wanted to let everybody know that of course you can certainly see our show again at 12 at 12 30 and 5 and that way you can get some more ideas about what you can do of course this will also be on our youtube channel village television so if you missed any of this you can always check it out there all right when we come back we will have additional information on what's happening in the village stick around Freedom Village Skilled Nursing offers rehabilitation after surgery with our team of on-site therapy professionals. We are proud that our quality care measures are recognized by Medicare. We support you with your recovery with a caring staff and registered nurses around the clock. Freedom Village Skilled Nursing is conveniently located near three hospitals, open to the public and offers private serenity suites. Call today to experience first-class care for your loved one. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, COVID lockdowns in China, relentless inflation and rising interest rates have disrupted production and caused the global economy to stall. Is your money at risk during these uncertain times? Do you know how much exposure you have to the stock market and bond mutual funds? Should you even have money in the market today? Get a free risk analysis to ensure your capital is protected. Call now for information on the Safer Money System, 949-219-0692.
Welcome back. Well, today we have Eileen Ordway here, and she is here on behalf of the Laguna Woods Library. Well, welcome. So nice to see you. It's good to see you too, in person. I know, it's great. <laughs> you felt you're not a lot lately. <laughs> and I, yes, absolutely. Everybody's very excited to be here, and so it's great. I, and I'm really excited that you're able to do so many things at the library, and you're always very excited about it. And of course, uh, Juanita was very excited to have you here as well to talk about <laughs> your new stuff. So yes. tell me what is going on at the library. All right, the first big thing, we're actually going to have an event to, for three events this summer that we have never done before. We're going to conduct a story time for your grandchildren. So anyone who's got grandchildren in the three to six year range, who would like to come over to the library on a Wednesday, June 22nd at 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay. We're gonna have uh, um, our volunteers, our afternoon volunteers will conduct this session. Um, you have to accompany your grandchild. You'll, uh, we're gonna have a tent and chairs for the grandparents, oh, but cute. we're hoping that they'll bring towels for the kids to sit on around okay. the, the person who will read the book. Okay. Um, we do have a small section in the library for what that has children's DVDs and books and puzzles, but this is the first time we're actually having something that will will bring them to the I, library. And I yeah, we're excited it. about it. Yeah, I think it's great. Now you're going to do it right in the middle. Um, no, we're actually doing it outside. Oh, we it's have be outside. A, yeah, okay. we have a lawn in just outside of the library, and we're going to erect the tent there. Oh, that's so what that you we said don't, the um, okay. yeah, inter interrupt the people. We re basically just had the one big room in the library. So yeah. if we were reading to children and there was a lot of activity, uh, maybe the other residents would be, although they might enjoy it too. But <laughs> but if you have a nice a shady area, then yes. that's perfect. Yes. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. Oh, how yeah, fun. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. So who, uh, Who's going to be reading? Now you said volunteers. Are they your existing volunteers? Yes, yes. Okay. Our, we have several new volunteers on Wednesday afternoon, and they came up with this idea. Um, oh, so yeah, we we are looking forward to it. Um, we are we we're not requiring any registration. Uh, however, if you come if somebody comes into the library and they're interested in bringing their kids, just let somebody behind the front desk know, just okay. so we can kind of get an idea. Of, how many okay. people might show up or if anyone okay. will show up. <laughs> so. Oh, I think they will as long as the kids are here. So it's once a month though, right? For once the whole a month. Summer. So okay. June 22nd, July 13th and August 10th. Perfect. That's for yes. one hour. Yes. And of course they could bring, um, they could bring their waters right. and drinks yes. or little snacks yes. and things like that. Yeah, okay. that would be great. Nice. Yeah. Well, that sounds so much fun. That's great. Well, we'll have to get together with you again in a few months and see how that Yeah, went. we'd like to do that. Take some yeah. pictures. Take some pictures, Take absolutely. Some pictures. <laughs> okay, what else is happening? All right, a um, couple months ago, our catalog got an upgrade that allowed us to go in and uh, enumerate books in series. So we have updated over 4,000 books and we have 600 series that we've identified. So you could go into our catalog and you're you know, talking about your online system our online okay. catalog okay. and yes you would search if you search for a book or the name of a series or the author um, if the book is in a series it'll display on the catalog line if you double click on the name of the title to expand it then you can also then double click on the name of the series and the whole series will be listed uh, oh, that's in nice. order um, we don't have every book you mean in order in, in terms order of by that series Oh, 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 I so see. Like, so you one, can book start one this, through seven. Yes, okay. or, or okay. like Stuart Woods and Stone Barrington, one through 61. Oh, um, Yes, and we actually have all of them. Okay. Uh, we don't have all, um, we don't have every book in every series we're finding. Um, probably some of them weren't as popular and they got weeded or we never got them. Right. Um, but right now we have a display that's right next to our new bookshelves. Um, and we're identifying the first books in series. Oh, I see. So we have about 33 um, okay. first books that we've identified. Okay. And as people check them uh, out, we're replacing them with some other author and series. So just, we would like people to, to give a new series a try. Right. So, um, so when you talk about the series, so you've got different things on the shelves. So like, for instance, you mentioned Stuart Woods. Yes. New York Dead is on there. Yes. And then you've got some other ones that you show here on the picture. So that so you guys just randomly pick some? Well, once we got the list of all the titles that we have, and actually now we have a book that will be oh, here that oh, lists nice. all okay. the series that we have. Um, Great. And uh, in order by the author, the series, and then the title. So you could look at it on well, the catalog. Look at your book again. 
or you could go okay. in and find this. So book. they so they should ask for that when you walk into the front desk. Yes, okay. yes. If they're not if they're not catalog savvy, they they can also look at this. Okay. So what I did was um, when I created this list, I went through and found the, the authors where we did have the very first book in the series and several of the early books, mm -hmm. so that if people want to get interested in a new series, at least they'll know they'll have a couple to, that they can uh, keep looking at. That's great. So like John Stanford, he's one. He has three different series. Um, uh, Virgil uh, Flowers is one of his characters. It's mm -hmm. a right now smaller number of books. Mm -hmm. um, but m people may not have um, known about those, so we're hoping people will give it a try. Do you have, like, let's say somebody was new to reading and they didn't really know where to start. So do they, can they come in and talk to you guys and say, okay, what would you recommend? Sure. We, okay. we do our best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we all have different tastes. Yeah. So you, you might hear something from one person, something totally different from someone else. So if you had some kind of idea what you might like, make, maybe what kind of movies that you like, mm. and we could uh, find books similar to that. Mm -hmm. We also have our new bookshelves, so they can go there and look and find something that we think our residents will be interested in. And uh, yeah, but absolutely, that's why we're there, to try and help people find find things. You guys have done such a nice job over there and congratulations to you. That's a lot of data entry. Yes, it was. There was just three of us that did it and uh, yeah, it was a, it was a kind of a big job, but we're really interested in it. So it was like it was kind of exciting. Right. And the fact that to you go through can and give do this it. to the residents, I yeah. mean for those that really go online, this is quite yes. a savings in time. Yes, absolutely. That's great. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, of course, as uh, you are about to mention, we have a new library that's going in in City Hall. Right. Yes. Anybody who drives there past City Hall can see that the new construction underway. It's really making a lot of progress. Yeah. And, and we're really happy for them. Um, they, the librarian there, Lisa, another Lisa, she's kind of hidden in back in a corner behind the front <laughs> desk. And, and it'll be great for them to have more room. But we want to make sure people know that our village library is just for the residents of Laguna Woods Village. We are not in any way connected to the Orange County libraries. All right. So this is totally separate. As far as we know, we plan to still be here um, because uh, you know we have we average about 2,600 people a month come in through our doors. Right. People read. They sit in the area. It's cool all summer long. It'll be cool. Nice place to yeah. come and veg. Right. Um, we purchase the items that our people. We know our people like. Mm -hmm. um, I recently had a woman who came in and she was 70th in line for a book on the Orange County oh, website, my wait on reserves, and we only had had like five or six people in line. Another ah. woman last week, same thing, Jody Picoult's new book, she was 19 in line for Orange County and she was next in line at our library. Oh see, that's it. Yeah, Why would so they ever right. have the library go away based on just that information alone? Right, <laughs> right. Now, the Orange County libraries are good, so like if you yeah. like a series and maybe we don't have every one, they probably will. So well, we, exactly. most of us have both. Well yeah, and then yeah. they also, of course, they can, I mean you can do the research too, but but the libraries have the, all the whole thing connected, right? Yes. So therefore, if they wanted something, they right. could find it from another location. Yes, yes. But you know what? You guys still have plenty of things to offer. We do. And <laughs> like you said, it's what the people are asking for. Yes. And you can accommodate that, which is great. We try. Yeah, <laughs> we no, try our you best. You guys do a great job. <laughs> now, if anybody had any questions at all about the library, how should they get in touch with you guys? Well, they can stop in um, Monday, Tuesday, um, 10 to 4, Wednesday, 10 to 7, Thursday, Friday, 10 to 4, or Saturday, 10 to 1. Okay. Um, they can uh, call us at 949-527-4274, or they can email us at lwvillagelibrary at yahoo.com. Perfect. Perfect. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank and you. I'm so Thank glad you. you were here to make it to us. And yes. Good luck on the children's series. Yeah, I love that. We're, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. And of course, if you want more information about the library, you can call the number that Eileen has mentioned and it's on your screen. We'll be right back.
Picking someone to clean your house is a big decision. After all, they'll be inside your house and touching virtually everything you own. Sadly though, not all cleaning professionals are actually real pros. Like this person you found online who uses the same sponge in the kitchen they use in the bathroom. If you're looking for a local family-owned business with amazing customer service, contact MadePro for a free estimate. MadePro, when you're ready for a real pro. Mom, can I go in the water? Okay, in just a minute. Baby, you gotta wear his life jacket. Okay. Oh, can I get the uh, cheese please burgers ready? Sure, in, in just a second. Mom, could I pretty please get in the water? Okay. Hey, where's Timmy? Did he go inside? He, he said he wanted to, oh, no, he's in the pool. Well, our movie is going to be this afternoon at 2 o'clock, and that's one of the, the old classic. It's called The Carey Treatment. It stars James Coburn, and it says, You've never seen a doctor like Dr. Carey, and that's sponsored by Harvard Eye Associates. That'll be at 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock, and if you activate your closed captioning services on your television, you'll be able to have that as well. So be sure and tune in for that. That's at 2 and 6 o'clock this afternoon. Well, let's go outside and take a look at the weather. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. It's going to be uh, temperatures in the low 80s, and then, of course, overnight temperatures in the low 60s. Uh, great time to get out there and enjoy your community. Uh, even go for a swim. You know, we just had the this kids over there swimming at Clubhouse 2. Go over there and have yourself a wonderful time swimming at Clubhouse 2 or Clubhouse 1 and enjoy the beautiful weather that we'll be having here for the next couple of days. But it's uh, great temperatures, and of course, if you're traveling, some great temperatures as well, which will attract you know some people. But uh, if you're heading out to the desert, it's gonna be in the triple digits, and in the, the mountain area, it's gonna be in the 80s, and then of course, our coastal regions will be in those low 70s. But beautiful temperatures here in Southern California, and especially in Southern Orange County. Well, we're off tomorrow, so we'll have to see you on Monday. Uh, Lisa, hopefully, will be joining us on our program on Monday. If not, I'll step in and we'll chat for the next half hour or so and uh, enjoy what's happening here in Laguna Woods Village. Well, you do enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Paul Ortiz, and we'll see you again next time. certified dermatologist and most surgeon and I'd like to introduce you to Skin Credible Dermatology and Surgery. We perform general dermatology including skin checks, suspicious spots or moles, and other skin problems. Plus, we have the highest cure rate for skin cancer removal. Our state-of-the-art facility is top of the line with industry-leading lasers and cutting-edge cosmetic products. Our goal is to turn back the years with a natural, beautiful look. Visit our website or give us a call to book your appointment today. Welcome to OCI Care with Dr. Vias, Laguna Woods' most trusted premium laser eye surgery and comprehensive ophthalmology center. Located in the heart of the Laguna Woods community, OCI Care specializes in laser cataract surgery, glasses-free cataract surgery, microscopic glaucoma surgery, diabetic eye checks, routine exams, and all your other eye care needs. Dr. Vias and the OCI Care staff believe in one-on-one -on -one care and the patient-physician relationship. Come in for your appointment today for a lifetime of better vision.